Hello everyone, my name is Gabriela Dolinsky and I will be presenting to you about the wonderful animal chimpanzees and focusing on their ability and ways of communication. Chimpanzees are classified under Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Chordata, Class Mammalia, Order Primates, Family Homendia, Genus Pon, and Species Pontroglodytes. Chimpanzees happen to be the closest existent living relatives to humans. Humans and chimpanzees have the same classification under kingdom, phylum, class, order, and family due to possessing very similar traits. We only differ in genus and species because of few contrasting characteristics being we are not identical. Characteristics Human and chimpanzees share 99% of their DNA, making them so alike. Like many mammalians, some physical characteristics of chimpanzees include they have black hair, not fur, white whiskers on their chin, similar to humans, flat faces, including forward-facing eyes and a small nose, bare skin on their palms and soles of their feet, Additionally, they walk on their soles of their feet and opposable thumbs, which enable them to meander with ease across branches. Environment. Chimpanzees are found in Western, Central, and Eastern Africa in a variety of habitats. Nevertheless, they more commonly endure in rainforests, secondary forests, and woodlands in areas that are populated with minimal species. Although chimpanzees have the ability to move by foot, they often dwell within their trees where they can feed and nest. Adaptations. Chimps have adapted to several adaptations to help them survive and thrive in their habitats. This includes opposable thumbs, which like humans, they have four fingers and one opposable thumb to aid them in grasping and migrating between the trees of the forest of Africa. Additionally, they enable them the ability to groom and use tools. Chimpanzees have the ability to make their own tools. Some of these resources include dipping sticks for food, twigs as toothpicks, rocks as hammers, or even weapons. Chimpanzees pass down their ability to their young chimps by teaching them. Additionally, chimpanzees have long arms and short legs assisting in swinging from branches and are able to walk on their legs. However, unlike humans, they are not bipedal and use their hands to support them. They also have no tail allowing them to sit comfortably. Like humans, chimpanzees have acute eyesight and keen sense of smell, aiding them in the search for food and awareness of predators that may be nearby. In addition, the most sensational adaptation is their large brain size, enabling them to be very intelligent species. Many research research experiments have proven their immense knowledge as they can follow directions make decisions, recognize their own mirror images, along with many other advanced abilities. In order to boost their survival, chimpanzees have adapted to be very social species. They have compromised large communities to small interactive communities where they share their knowledge, compete, and provide security for one another. Lastly, and what I'll be focusing on for the rest of this presentation, is the adaptation of communication skills. This assists chimpanzees in quickly passing information visually and vocally. Visual communication. Chimpanzees communicate using large variation of gestures, postures, facial expressions, body language, and physical cues. 
This includes gestures such as arm raising, slapping the ground, or a direct stare are signals of feeling threatened. Additionally, males show their interest in a desire to mate a female by branch shaking or stomping. Likewise, swelling of the female anagenitalia skin communicates sexual state to males in the community. Also, chimps use facial expressions such as a grin pictured on this slide as a sign of excitement or an expression of play. Erection of body hair, known as pillow erection, is a signal to communicate excitement. Contrarily, when in fear is induced, the hair becomes sleek, making the chimp seem smaller. Auditory communication. All of chimpanzees' vocalizations are tied closely to their emotions, like excitement produced due to arriving at a food source greeting an old friend, or acute fear or distress. They use various grunts, squeaks, barks, whimpers, and screams to display a certain emotion they may be feeling. These noises provide information to other chimpanzees within the community without directly seeing their expressions. Examples include during grooming chimpanzees smack lips or tooth clack. Playing is often associated with the laughter and food grunts, which attract others to the food source. It is clear the importance of vocalization. However, when necessary, chimpanzees are suppress their vocalization. Some examples is when a male is performing a border patrol or when raiding a neighboring community for food chimpanzees realize that their vocalization may attract the attention of outsiders. Also, when mating, both male and female remain completely silent. This is due to not wanting to attract other males and for safety when most vulnerable. Tactile communication. Physical contact plays a large role in communication between chimps. Chimpanzees often hug, kiss, mount, touch, reconcile as a way to appease stress or greet. Often chimpanzees are even playful with one another, which will cement a social bond. On the other hand, physical contact between chimpanzees can be a way to establish dominance, irritate another, or result a conflict. This includes hitting, slapping, kicking, biting, pounding, dragging, and stamping, stated by Goodall in a source. Chemical communication. Chimpanzees use smells as a way of obtaining specific information. Some examples include smelling the anagen tail swellings of females, the ground after a mother has moved away with her new infant, which is a way to smell the newborn and identify if a female is approaching ovulation. It is believed that each individual chimpanzee have their unique smell. Sometimes when needed, wild chimpanzees can even track missing family members. The different smells communicate to, to chimpanzees what they may be feeling or needing. Communication study in captivity. Although chimpanzees are intelligent species with advanced communication abilities. They do not speak a language. Rather, they produce vocalizations and emotions like I've presented earlier. However, they possess the cognitive ability to develop a language. This is proven as chimpanzees are able to understand a lexigram, which is a keyboard of symbols in sign language. Chimpanzees have the ability to identify and distinguish signs, size, colors, and symbols. For example, in a study, chimpanzees describe a cucumber as a banana, which is green. Chimpanzees, however, can understand spoken languages and request even though they cannot speak it. I hope you were able to learn something about the advanced and intelligent species of chimpanzees and their several forms of communication. 
these are the sources I used to find these information, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.